All right, so I'm going to show you how to make an API request on Android with uh, using Kotlin and Retrofit, which is a library by Square. Um, so they make a lot of cool libraries for Android, like a lot of the standard library libraries. And um, we'll also be using the JSON converter, which I believe is made by Google. Yeah, um, but Square's I believe is Moshi, and I'm. I'm familiar with JSON, so that's what I'm going with. Um, and so, yeah, we'll create a new project. And we'll be using um, like a free API. We'll just call this Retrofit uh, example, I guess. Um, Kotlin API 26. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to use this free API. So it's a post API, so it has user ID, ID title and body and I'm not going to show it in the list in this video I'm just going to show you the like um, I'll just show it in like Logcat and so yeah the next another video I'll show you how to put in the list probably the next one um, yeah so we need to add both square and or not square retrofit and the JSON converter to your um Gradle dependencies. So we add it to our project. And to get the latest version, always go to the GitHub repo. Um, yeah, that's usually how you can find the latest version for any uh, library, not just Android. So um, yeah, so we'll wait for this to sync. Yeah, so okay. So we'll always add it to the app Gradle file. So in the dependencies block, um, so retrofit and latest version was 2.9.0. Then we'll also add this one, which is the JSON. So JSON basically, I don't think I explained it, but it it turns the JSON that you get from the API into a Kotlin or Java object. So. I believe the latest version is 2.62. It'll show you once you start. Yeah, okay. Then we'll just sync this up real quick. And that just basically adds the library to your um, project. And so, yeah, now we can start coding. So, for the project structure, I usually <laughs> just follow open source big projects. So Google has one where they make a uh, GitHub repository app. And and I kind of mix them, I guess, but I'm mainly going off that. So create another package, API. And an API package will have a retrofit service and a retrofit client. And the service is basically um, how you define like the endpoints. And so uh, yeah, basically the calls you'll make. Um, so I'll call it post service. It's an interface. And yeah, I'll just show you the documentation. And so here they have, so the GitHub service um, in their example. And so they have a Git request. So um, whatever annotation you use, uh, there's post, uh, put, whatever. And then, so this is the path. So th in our case, this would be post and path. They're passing in like a user ID, probably. And, but we won't need that. And then they're returning a call, which is like a retrofit uh, library. They have um, to execute the request, but you can also use RxJava uh, coroutines. Um, and so, yeah, we'll create that. And then we'll put this in a... A client class and so this will use our service um, yeah to make the request so yeah so first we need to create the service so ours will be similar so git we we'll use the git annotation which my computer is kind of I don't know what it's doing okay yeah there you go so you import um, to get annotation from retrofit and then um, so I'll call it I guess get post and it will return um, 
a call, which is retrofit. Make sure you choose retrofit. Uh, and a list of posts. And so it, depending on what <laughs> how the your JSON is structured, it might not always be a list, but um, yeah. Uh, so I'll do post, post, I'll do post. Because we'll create a data class named post, and we'll actually do that now. And so, like for my data objects, I usually create a um, data class. So we have data class here. And JSON has some um, annotations. Serialized name is one. If you want to give your um, key a different name, basically, um, or if it has a different name, so it will automatically map to say, uh, so in our case, I'll just show you. Oh, this is a different, okay. So user ID, I'll just copy this real quick. So you can just, really you can just type it. You don't have to use serialized names, but what it's for is like, uh, okay. We can just type int or user ID int, and it will, it will automatically map this way. But say your uh, JSON might be this instead. Um, but you want to use this as your in your code, so you would do something like um, you do serialized name and just to match it up and set it to this uh, variable. In our case, we'll just keep it the same. I still do it regardless, even if um, I don't, uh, even if they're, <laughs> I'll just leave them the same because in the future, maybe they'll change, but usually they won't, but yeah. Um, and then what else do we have? Title body. These are strings. String. And body, okay. And so I'll just delete this. And so we'll just import um I'll format it a little bit. No, that looks oh well. Oh, that's fine. Um so we'll import this now that we have that defined. And also, I didn't even set the path. So here, in their example, uh, see they're setting the path. So ours would be post. So it's not the whole um, thing. So this is the, they consider this the base URL, which is right here. So I usually have constants for those, which I usually put like in a, um, wait, where did I put my, okay. I didn't even put, I usually put this in like a data package and JIP and IntelliJ is smart enough. It can um, refactor that for us. Okay. And then, so for this, I usually make a utility or utils package. And um, yeah, so I'll create a Kotlin class. So, uh, post constants. Yeah. And I'll create a companion object. Uh, and then um, I will do base URL first. And I always leave the forward slash in the base URL. And then um, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then, yeah, so in our service, we'll do post constants dot base URL. And then also, we'll also create a client class. And so I'll do post client. And so it'll be the retrofit builder. Um, and yeah. And basically, it will basically use our service. So, um, 
create a function, get uh, or yeah, get API, and I'll just have it return a um, instance of retrofit builder. And we need to import retrofit, and then we'll return retrofit dot builder dot um, base URL. Then of course we we'll use our post constants dot base URL. Or did I use the wrong thing? So we don't use base error here. <laughs> That's my bad. We use post. Okay. I was just thinking about that. Okay, and then we'll also need to use um, JSON. So to use JSON, or to use any of the converter factories, you just do uh, JSON converter factory dot create. And yeah, that's all I usually do for that. And then just to make it simple, main activity will just create a function, uh, get data. We won't return anything. Um, so we we'll use the uh, so we'll create client variable can't type uh, post client dot get API dot build dot create and then so the create will take our service class so post service. Um, class.java and then to make the actual request uh, client dot get post dot and queue so they also have execute but uh, that'll probably crash <laughs> um, because it's synchronous uh, so we need to use in queue which is that runs asynchronously on the background so um, but really would probably use arcs java or coroutines here but just for example, <laughs> so we'll create um, object declaration. Um, oh, I'm not okay. Callback, and so it'll be a callback of list of posts. They kind of tell you there. So um, we import both of these, and make sure you choose retrofit on this. Yeah. Okay. And then if you just do option enter on Mac, uh, I forgot what it is on Windows. But yeah, implement members, you want to implement them both. And we don't, we can log the, uh, we're going to log uh, the response at least. So first we'll get the post, uh, which will be response up body. Yeah, body. Okay. And then, um, so we'll do log the, and then, um, or yeah, actually, so if the uh, post, we'll check if the posts are null. If they're not null, um, we'll do all this. So yeah, so for post and posts, and then. So we post dot. We'll just print the body up, I guess, or we'll do title. That might be too much. Um, and we'll create the tag. So log t. That'll be good. So yeah. So now we'll run it. Um, yeah, and I'll skip this because it might take a while. Um, so we'll also need to call get data to show it course but um, yeah it will run it so it shouldn't take long oh so one thing I forgot was <laughs> to add the internet permission so um, yeah so you'll do users permission internet and yeah, that's all you need for that. And then let's run it again. So you should see the output. So see, these are the titles. So it's about 100, I believe. So 
these are the titles from uh, the API. And next, I'll show you how to show them in a the list and uh, click on them, show them in a detailed view, maybe. Um, yeah. And yeah, that's it. All right, so another thing I don't even think about, but <laughs> I'll clean that up real quick. Um, but here I use post, uh, post and post, but um, I mean, of course, it's not going to be known if we're checking in here, but really, I should use it. Or you can rename it if yeah, you want to, but yeah. Yeah, that's it.